everyone. This is Skip Farr from Hard Dollar Corporation. The session today, I'd like to go over the relationship of Hard Dollar to Excel. There's really two main uh, approaches. One is to be able to simply copy and paste data, blocks of information back and forth from Hard Dollar to Excel and Excel to Hard Dollar, or you can actually link specifically to a cell in Excel either way. So from that said, I got my little training job opened. I'll first want to talk about this copy-paste, the ability to take blocks of data. We do have a icon here that is entitled Block Select. And what this is, this is a feature. This is a function that you turn off and turn on. So when I click on there, I've turned it on. I know it's on when I move my cursor down into the register, and I can see the cursor symbol. It looks like Excel. What I've done, I've already set up a simple little thing in Excel that I want to copy in some rental resource inf information. So I'm going to simply have some code and a description. So I'm going to go to Excel and simple information. So I'm simply going to block select that information. I'm going to copy it, go back into hard dollar, click here, right click, paste, say yes, I'm really sure and copy that information in. So I can come from Excel in the hard dollar. This is great for setting up resources, you know, setting up uh, pay items, uh, account codes, address book information, and so forth. So a lot of information is in Excel. If it's in, if you get in the right format, rows and columns, it can be a very quick way to get data set up in hard dollar. Now another way I can take a block of data from hard dollar copy it, go to Excel, and paste it in Excel. If I find my, there we go, simply paste it in Excel. Back and forth, doesn't matter. It's a great feature, a great way to take data back and forth from Excel. I'm going to close Excel down. So get out of it, and so I'm back in the hard dollar. Now the thing to remember, once you do this selection, to get back to the normal mode, you need to click the icon again. This again is like a toggle, and I'm back to normal. Okay. Now the other thing we can do with Excel is to be the link to certain fields. Now we've set up in the library a master workbook. We have set up worksheets inside this master workbook. We have some example data that you may use. You may delete those worksheets. You may add to them, edit them, modify them if you like. But if you want to have your worksheet that you want to use within Hard Dollar, one option is to copy your worksheet into this master workbook in the library. The reason for that is that when you create a new job folder, and want to use the Excel linking function, we copy that master workbook from the library into the job folder. It is then renamed the ID name, the job name for you in the particular job. So Hard Dollar is going to look inside the job for a workbook with its name. And then, of course, we will pop up the, the cells for you that you can then link to. So I'm going to open up the actual workbook now that is in the job itself. This is where I just came from. I'm going to scroll up. We have a bunch of sheets in here that we've given you again. My table of contents is worksheets that we've provided. Change them if you like. The main thing to do here, if you want to use this feature, and I'll just click on one of these worksheets, is that in order for Hard Dollar to link, we are linking to a name of a cell. In other words, Excel allows you to put a name to the cell. These are my results that I put up into the upper left-hand corner of my worksheet. So this is the things that I would want to link to. Those are the results that this worksheet gen generates, and I've named each cell. So hard is looking for the name. So I'm going to close this down again, start from scratch. Now we can link to essentially any input field in hard dollar. So we can come from Excel to a field that you can type in 
or we can take a field from Hard Dollar, whether it's an editable or read-only, out to Excel. Either way, we're looking for a named cell. So again, this has applications for certain users, depends on, you know, their, uh, their approach. Some of them have Excel spreadsheets that do a lot of quantity takeoff. They don't want to lose it. It's great. Uh, sometimes they'll link their resource results, like labor rates, back to the labor rate resource reg register. They'll use Excel to calculate all the fine things, just bring back a, a single rate. So there's many applications on this. I'm simply going to use the application where I'm going to change this quantity of this particular cost item. Now, if you actually click in the field, you have an icon up here that says, link this field to Excel. If you don't click in the field, but just hover your mouse over it and right click, you get the option that says, link this field to Excel. So I'm going to bring it up, and these are your named cells. Notice we go from Excel to Hard Dollar, or from Hard Dollar to Excel. So we found the workbook in this job, named in this case, Training Job. These are the named cells in my workbook. I'm just going to pick, pick one just for kicks. Since I'm actually changing a quantity, of course, the hard dollar says, well, what do you want to do? Change the total or change the unit? Well, in this case, I'll say I'll change the total. I'll click OK. And you may notice the cell that I chose had a value of 0 0.04. But you notice there's a link to it now. So if I want to, I can click on that link, and it took me to that field. So I can make uh, further changes if I wanted to, and so forth. So in essence, I can go from Excel to Hard Dollar, or from Hard Dollar to Excel. I just have to decide the name of the cell. So again, depends upon your approach, your application. If your spreadsheets generates information that can be used in Hard Dollar, uh, these are a couple ways that you can take advantage of what Excel does and update that information in Hard Dollar. That's all I want to talk about for the Excel. I appreciate your time. Thank you very much.